Looking for cheap and reliable College 25 Ultimate Team coins? Head on over to MMO EXP and use code Poodle at checkout for 5% off your order. Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another CFB25 video. In today's video, I'm going to be testing out an Insta commitment recruiting method. Now, as always, guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, stick around. We're posting every other day consistently. You're not going to want to miss these tips. And, guys, last week I asked for some like goals. I made a few comments about likes, and you guys absolutely killed it. So I have to keep doing it. So remember, Every like helps this channel out a ton. Right when you see this video, right at the start, liking the video helps the video do better. It helps out the channel a lot. And I said it last week and you guys absolutely killed it. So please keep it up with the likes. It's a free, easy way to really support the channel. I appreciate it. Keep on commenting if you guys have anything to add to the video. And if you guys haven't already, check out Underdog. The NFL season has officially started. The CFB season has officially started. We had some hits in the Chiefs and the Ravens game as well. Always follow me on Twitter for all my picks if you want to copy and or fade. Definitely sign up now because you guys do not want to be missing all this content for the month of September. It's going to be one of the best months on Underdog ever. All right, so let's get into it. So we're going to be testing out an Insta commit method. So I got a lot of people asking me this and I didn't exactly have an answer for it. So I decided to go ahead and test this out for you guys and just kind of give you guys an update on if this works or if it doesn't. Now, when picking a team to test Insta commits with, I'm going to be choosing Georgia. Now, before you kill me in the comments, I want to pre I want to defend myself ahead of time here. The Insta commit package is something that a CEO coach can get. Any coach can get Insta commits, but to test this out, it's best to do it with the Dream School package, which Georgia already has. Had I been playing through with the program, I'd probably have it already, and I could show you that one. But for the sake of a video, I'm going to be choosing Georgia, so do not kill me. So again, this applies to any other school you have with Insta commits in general, right? It applies no matter what, no matter what school you are. And if you have the CEO package for Dream School, it's even better. Keep that in mind. The package I'm referring to is right here at the top in CEO. It's called Dream School, a chance at Insta commit when offering scholarships as their top school. Keep in mind, you can, like I said, get commits with other schools. You do not need this package to do it. I just believe it makes it easier because I've gotten plenty of Insta commits with other schools. Georgia just has a higher frequency. And if we're going to test out an Insta commit, Reroll method. If we're going to test this out, I'd prefer to have the extra boost just to ensure it works or doesn't work. So the first thing you want to do is go over to the recruiting board and you want to start adding some players. Now, remember for Insta commits, you, they have to be in your first and in interest from what I've seen. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but I've only seen it happen when I'm in first for a player. So what you want to do is sort by interest first. Now, for the sake of trying to do this, you can add a bunch of different players here, right? For me personally, I think the best way to do it is obviously sort by first, first and foremost. But more importantly, do it by position because it's a lot easier to really test a method when you're doing like even variables and doing it quicker. So let's say quarterback has four, running back has first there. Let's see, we want to get one that has a bunch of different guys there. Wide receiver, we have plenty here as the one. So let's go ahead and add all these wide receivers. Now remember, so when getting an insta commit, it's basically going to be based on if you are first, first for the player, and then there's a chance from that point to get it. Now, if you're not there, if you're not, if you don't have the dream school package, it's just a lower chance. It's not impossible. I've seen Georgia and other schools get plenty, get five stars, four stars, three stars, two stars, one stars. I do have a sense that one through three stars are a lot easier for the Insta commit. Fours are harder and fives are very hard. I've seen Georgia do it, but the, the sweet spot that I've seen is anywhere from two to four stars consistently being able to be to Insta commit. So what we're testing out here is, is a method that was going through my comments with some of the other subs is can you just go ahead and keep re-rolling it to do it. Now there's two ways to do this. One for sure works, right? There's two parts to this method here. One for sure works, one we're gonna be testing. So the first part of this is, let's say you go through and you wanna come over to wide receiver. Go to any position that you have, right? Go check what you're first on, right? Obviously, if you sort it by first, you are. In an online league where you may not be just going by the first overall player, just know that you're only gonna be able to get the guys that you're first for. So you wanna come on through in week one. Now remember, this is going to cost you five points of scholarship per player, so this may, this may differ depending on what size school you are. So you want to do is, and this is why we're doing it for you to test. Okay, right there. Four star insta commit, as you can see. Like I said, you see anywhere from two to four stars pretty consistently. I want two, but no one's really no one's really recruiting one stars. So go on through, do your first round of offers. So right here, as you guys can see, we got two from the bunch of well, whatever we had here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So give or take, I'd say it's about a 20%. I'd say it's more like a 15% chance when you're first on their, on their list, probably even a little lower, like 10. That's what I basically, I exactly what you're seeing here. For like every 10 to 15 guys I've done at first, I usually can get one, maybe two. So I'd say it hovers closer to about 10%. Now, with that being said, here are the two reroll methods. First one is if you're in an offline league, you can create a save point before this moment. 
So what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna click the right stick, you wanna go and you wanna save, create a save file. Let's say you really want a five star or a four star to kickstart your, your recruiting class. You can just go ahead and keep offering them. If you don't get it, you, let's say you do this whole say you don't get it, you can back out and just keep going back. What you also can do is get the guy, save the file, come back out, get another guy, save the file, come back out and you keep re-rolling like that until you get what you want. That's a much, that, that's a very cheesy way, but that is guaranteed to work because essentially you're re-rolling the chance every time. Now the method we're going to be testing here on video is going to be re-rolling the players without using save files. So right here, we got two. So the next thing you want to do is now go remove all these guys. Remember when removing these guys, you do get their scholarship back. Now, a lot of guys have told me, wouldn't you want to accrue interest first before you go ahead and offer it? But it's week, it's week zero it, right here. If you don't, you can't offer an action, right? You can't offer anything. So if you don't offer a scholarship and you hold it, there's a decent chance that Clemson, Alabama, if they offer a scholarship, they're going to jump you after week one and you're going to be behind the rest of the way. So just to clarify that, a lot of people have asked me that too. Like, can't you just like other methods? Can't you just wait and just offer it when you're first? That, and in a real league and most leagues, even in an offline league, it's going to be very hard for you to wait a few weeks to get first, right? I don't really, I haven't really understood that one, but a lot of people have been asking, so I didn't want to cover that. But again, so take off these guys. So we got our two. Now you want to do is come back to prospect list and you want to sort by wide receiver again. You could remember their names, but in this instance, you don't really have to because if you sort by first, these are all the guys you added initially. So you don't have to remember anything, which makes it a lot easier. So you want to add these guys all back to your list. And now you see we have a fresh chance to offer a scholarship to all of these guys. Now we have two already. Can we get another two? Can we get all of them if we keep doing this? So obviously it's a game of chance so as you do go through it's impossible the first round doesn't work right as we do test this and we keep on going through here offer scholarship offer scholarship these are all fresh scholarships offers now like i said the issue here is that you are wasting five points every time you do it so understand that as a program with a lot of hours it's going to be very simple to do but you are costing yourself scouting so do keep that in mind when doing this now all in all if you were if this does end up working and you are able to get a bunch of guys in recruited week one the scouting aspect wouldn't even matter because going to week two, you'd have a ton of hours and a lot of guys are already pre-signed. So in a world like that, it's honestly way more advantageous to waste the extra five to keep doing it, even if it costs you 100 points to do it because you end up saving half a season worth of sending the house, etc. So let's keep going through and let's see, we're gonna give it a few rounds here because like you saw with the first two, for every like 10 or so, 10 to 15 we do, we should get at least one. So right here, this would be about our 10th one and we haven't gotten another one. So it's seeming less likely that this type of reroll method is going to actually work, but we got to give it a few more rounds of testing. You know how this goes. Now, what's interesting about this, right, is that you would think because it's a fresh scholarship offer, it would work, which makes you wonder, are they predetermined? Are the commits predetermined or does the game have it coded? So we're going to give it one more round here and then we'll, we'll kind of go through what I think with this. Sort by first, go through, add them all to the list. And let's see one last round here because at this point i think we have a pretty good sample size of if it works or if it doesn't let's see i would love i would love to get one here that would be a great great way to just go ahead and re-roll commits right here cone and then we got swearinger as the last one okay so consensus here in my opinion like i said you can go ahead and always do the save file that's always a way to go ahead and do it and just save the game but I, this insta commit reroll method that people have been asking about, it does not work. I know a lot of people haven't extensively probably tested it because they're in leagues where they can't be wasting points. So they just assume it might work. Here you go. We've discovered for you. That does not work. I, that was a round of almost 30 to 40 players total in rerolls and it did not work. It would have worked by now, which leads to the question of, is it predetermined? In which case, does that impact the auto save or does it impact the, the save file method? I, I, I tend to believe here what it really is is that the player once they get their first scholarship offer they are coded as already getting a scholarship offer for instance people always say can you just keep taking it on and off for more interest the reason taking the scholarship on and off every week doesn't give you more interest is because it seems like it's coded as a one hit on the player which is good like send the house every week gives you a new hit a new interest boost it seems like scholarships have a one-time impact one-time interest boost one-time scholarship potential for an insta commit and that is it because it's pretty clear here, because if it wasn't coded that way, first and foremost, you could just take the scholarship off 30 times week one and accrue uh, three weeks worth of interest, or you could keep getting insta commits. It seems likely that they have the first time scholarship capped to just one hit, and that's about it. But that pretty much does give us exactly what we needed info wise to test this method out. Rerolling does not work. The save file does work because essentially it's a first time scholarship because you're just going to quit out and reload that save file back to before you ever started the league. That's a great way to keep accruing. And like I said, the way to really extend on that method would be 
you get this one guy the moment you get one you instantly save and go back out that's one way to do it or or the best way which is the cheesiest way and take some more time is let's say you start with by bayard he says no rather than go four down and finally get this guy and then having to save and then losing your first four guys because you saved you lock them by saving them you could just do bayard don't get it back out reload save file don't get bayard back out reload it redo save file keep going until you get bayard once you get him save and then keep going you can essentially get them all re-rolled all the way which is super cheesy i will be making a video going over just the save file version of it and really breaking that down but overall this method does not work the instant the reroll method does not work but that's about it guys thank you so much for watching i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you're new to the channel subscribe again can we get 500 likes in this video that'd be greatly appreciated if you made it this far at this point come on get, give it a like hit the subscribe button we're almost at 30k i'd greatly appreciate it and if you haven't already check out underdog another way to greatly support the channel i appreciate each and every one of you that have signed up so far it's been a great time over on twitter discussing picks and going through some of the underdog stuff over there so make sure to check that out my code will be down below in the description and the comments thanks so much for watching i'm out peace